Hey guys, it's Sammy. How are you guys doing today? Because I'm having a fantastic day today. is Sunday. Just woke up. It's around 9.30 right now. Today is a day of the Pocono race. Excited for that. I'm going to make a video this morning. I was working on a song parody and I wrote the lyrics for it yesterday. But I think I want to wait to continue with that until uh, after school on Monday because that's when summer starts. I'm not sure what I want to do a video about though. Because I, I did four videos on my main channel yesterday. I did... I, I filmed one... Uh, on Friday night and then uploaded it on the morning of Saturday which was yesterday I did a story time video yesterday I did the prediction show which I don't really even care about and then I did the thank you for five subscribers video I, I was just kind of bored and felt like doing that I don't know why but I just did it but yeah I want to do a video I'm not sure exactly what I want it to be about so I'm still kind of thinking Guys, Rice Gum just uploaded a video yesterday, and I already saw it. It was hilarious. And usually, I don't like Rice Gum because I just don't like a lot of that YouTube drama stuff. Rice Gum uploaded a video called "It's Every Night, Sis," and let me tell you, it was hilarious. Sometimes, like, it's not the videos that get me; it's the titles that get me. Usually, when Mr. Beast uploads a video, it's usually the titles that get me. Like, I read the dictionary in one sitting, reading the YouTube terms of service. Counting to 100,000 in one video. <laughs> so sometimes it's just the titles that get me, and that was one of the times. See, I hate how all the things I wish I said in the video, it's like after the video's ended, so it's too late. I wish I said a lot of stuff in the video, but I forgot about it, so I didn't. Found out the race is coming on at 3, so that means I can completely edit this video. Because usually it comes on at like 1, since it's on the East Coast. The video that I filmed earlier is now being uploaded. Um, worked hard on it, so... Hope it gets views. I think it will, because I made a catchy thumbnail, and obviously I, I saw some other people calling YouTube the Illuminati, and it turns out, like, YouTube... Hold on, let me see one of them. Two. YouTube's logo contains the colors black, red, and white. <laughs> Do you know what else is black, red, and white? That's right. The Yemen flag. <laughs> Yemen rhymes with the word lemon. Lemons are yellow. You know what else is yellow? <laughs> That's right. Lemon juice. Juice rhymes with Chinese goose. <laughs> the word goose contains five letters. There is five sides on the pentagon. Holy guacamole. <laughs> Did you see that? Let's take another look. Do you see it now? Let's just look a little bit closer. <laughs> oh my. Is it just me or does it look like that statue from Brazil? <laughs> I knew it. U2 was using this statue in Brazil as a distraction of what they were planning to do which was to use this statue as a rocket to send to outer space as a decoy for the Germans so that all of the breadwursts could be then taken into their secret base and used as fuel for their next rocket which would then be used to fly around the globe to drop millions of YouTube videos of cute puppies brainwashing people and joining the Illuminati and then achieving world domination. Blow up. We now have absolutely undeniable evidence that YouTube is Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> it's just like so far away from the first thing and it's hilarious. I love it. So guys, the Pocono race comes on at 3, which is kind of weird because it usually comes on at 1 if it's in the East Coast. The pre-race show on right now, I think I'm going to watch it in there though. Man, only if there was a YouTube stream of this, that'd be really nice. That would be really nice. He retired. Carl Edwards retired. They're green. I don't get it either. He retired though. Five laps to go left in the stage. Kyle Busch is leading. It's pretty boring right now, honestly. But it's always like that in Pocono. It's always either raining or boring. Trying to pick up the final stage point, and here's a race for six. No. Chase Elliott trying to get past Kurt Busch and does. You see him again go real low in the car. Get away from that other car. We're on the final lap of the stage. Kyle Busch leading, which is good. Kyle Busch. Looks like he's going to win stage number one, and he does. Nice. And Kyle's out. And I think that's Eric Jones that came off first. Yep. Kyle Busch came off second. Harvick, Larson, Kozlowski, Elliott, Austin Dillon, Kenseth, McMurray, and Boyer. Here they are, back green. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Eric Jones on the front row. Ricky Stenhouse didn't pit. Kevin Harvick's passing Kyle, which is not good. Ricky 
Stenhouse Jr. Oh, 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 I thought Eric Jones had him cleared, but uh, it's a little oh, there goes Kyle for Kevin, Jones is come back. and now, he's got him. Right just needs to clear him. Eric Jones passes Ricky Stenhouse. Stenhouse driving deep again. Ooh, and then Kyle Busch passes him. Yeah. Kyle Busch passed Eric Jones for the lead. Now Larson passed Eric Jones for second. So. It's the Kyle and Kyle show again. It always seems to be that way. Kyle Busch pits. Uh, with 10 laps to go on the stage, their strategy is is to pit with like 10 laps to go on the stage. And then with about 38 laps to go, when the stage opens, when the strategy opens again, they'll start to pit. So I think that's a good strategy. But I just kind of, my, personally, I would wait until the end of the stage. But I'm not a professional here either, so, you know. Denny Hamlin takes the lead. Kyle Busch pitting right now. Apparently, McJuggernuggets now says that his name is Isaac, so I'm calling him Isaac from now on until the series is over. He's getting crazy, though. He kidnapped his mom and, like, held his family at gunpoint. He is not playing around, and I'm against him now. Like, up until about now, I was with him. Like, yeah, he was acting stupid, but, like, I was with him. But it's difficult to be on his side now when I'm not on his side anymore. So I think that his family needs to stop him. And clearly, like during that video, I was like, oh my god, when are you going to go back there and just kill him? Like, seriously, he has your wife at gunpoint. Jimmy Johnson is in the wall. That's not good at all. He was who I predicted in the prediction show. There is McMurray involved too. That's our first caution today, besides the stage end, but that's our first caution. He's on fire right now, McMurray. Uh, that'll be the end of the stage, though. He needs to get out of that thing. It's on fire, dude. Yeah, he's, you gotta get out. Yeah. This is a scary situation. First it was just a little flame, now it's like the whole car. Haven't seen anything like that in a while. What if that was, uh, fuel? Like, gasoline that he was adding to that? That'd be funny. Well, he's taking a seat right now. Little does he know there's, like, cameras on him. He should know that. Like, there are cameras on you. There are cameras on you walking. You can tell by the way he walks that there's cameras on him, but... He doesn't know that there's cameras on him right now, and he should know that. It looks like snow. Honestly. It looks like it snowed. Look at that. Okay, here's the replay. Here's what happened. Johnson, did it start with him? Uh, yeah, he blew up. And then he spun. And then, oh gosh, he hit the wall. Oh, that's a hard hit. And then what happened with McMurray? Did he just get distracted? I don't know how much brake fluid would have come out of that 48 car, but it okay, let's see. Mac hit something from the 48 car. No. Remember, we're talking 200 mile an hour down into that corner. When Johnson's car was going sideways, inside the right rear wheel was glowing bright red. You yeah, don't often see that on the rear brake. No, I'm not sure what happened with McMurray. Uh, Johnson, I think it, uh, McMurray ran over something. Yeah. Then, red flag is out with three to go in the stage. That'll obviously, like I said, be the stage end. They're back under yellow right now. Anaheim at Disneyland. And uh, in Cars 3, there's a wonderful uh, dirt track. Okay, so what just happened is that Larson was uh, swerving and got into Boyer and he got into the wall. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be very happy about that. I'm having flashbacks today. Here it is. Clint Boyer's coming by to like get his lap back and then gets right in the Communication is important. So they're going to come restarting with one lap to go. One lap shootout in the stage. Here we go. We'll see that. I'll, I'll film the whole thing for you guys. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. How did he not wreck? Not a lot to be gained and a whole lot to lose. Kyle, you can win this stage. Kyle Bush. Yeah, he's going to, it looks like. 
How are these guys not wrecking back there? Larson Bush with much fresher tires than Larson Harvick Truex or Elliott. That should show up on this end of the racetrack, those fresher tires, but it looks like Larson is scooting away from Kyle here a little bit across the short shoot. Yeah, he's got the fresher air to the nose and downforce, and Kyle Busch has the fresher tires. He's going to make a run out of it. Could be a drag race here to the line. This will be lap 100, the green and white. Kyle Larson wins stage number two. Larson. And everybody gets across safely. And when I saw that restart, I Here's the caution. Here we go back green, Kyle Busch, Eric Jones leading. With, with those fresh four tires, about 10 to 12 laps, fresher tires for those guys. I want to keep an eye on that four car and uh, see if, in fact, that engine is going to be able to last or not. Because that was abusive to that engine, and, and it's long to show up pretty quick. So Kyle Busch is taking possibly, probably his final stop of the race. 35 laps to go. So Kozlowski pitted Kyle Busch is now the leader 20 laps to go. Super happy. Hopefully he can win and hopefully if there's like no more cautions or anything. Because right now is the one time that I will welcome a boring race for the rest of it. I don't usually like that. But at the All-Star race I did because it was a boring race but Kyle Busch won. I just want a boring, calm rest of this race. Right as I said that, caution came out. Casey Kane gets into the wall got this on uh, live streaming right now on YouTube just figured that since it's exciting this last 17 laps I'll live stream my reactions he just needs to win here and at Charlotte hopefully he can do it green flag back in the air getting intense but here they go okay don't let him pass you Oh, okay, there we go. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Just passed all of them. Wait. Lols. Bubba Wallace looked like he was blowing up, but apparently not. Ryan Blaney and Kyle Busch battling. How did they not wreck right there? I don't know. But it looks like Ryan Blaney is trying to get by Kyle Busch. Hopefully he doesn't. No, 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 you don't. 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 No, 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 no. 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 Well, Kyle Busch is now second behind Blaney. And just when I thought it was going to be a good day, it's not. It'll be a good day if Ryan Blaney wins because I like seeing a first time winner. But kind of hoping that Kyle Busch could win. Kyle Busch is in fourth now. He's in fourth, not second, not third, but fourth. And Harvick and Blaney are racing hard right now. I hope that Blaney can win of the two of them because I like a first-time winner. I would not be happy if it wasn't Kyle and then it wasn't a first-time winner. It'd be annoying. Okay, I'm going to keep this on for the rest of it because I want to see this. I'm going to keep the camera on. It's right there. If Blaney makes one mistake, you I mean, I remember when uh, the day 2011 Daytona 500, when the Wood Brothers last won their race. Trevor Bain won his second start. That was awesome. Okay, final lap. We saw the we saw the final lap pass yesterday in the Xfinity race, and I'm not sure if Kevin Harvick's gonna be able to do that though. This is gonna be a long lap though. Trust me. Okay. It's Blaney all the way, guys. Nice it's not enough time for Harvick to catch up. Captain, <coughs> gotta get across this tunnel. If he gets across the tunnel, he's got it made. 
Oh, he got loose. He got loose, guys. But Harvick did too. Looks like we're going to see a first-time winner again today. The Wood Brothers, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney wins his first career race. That is awesome. The Wood Brothers, get it, Wood. I don't know. Yeah. Are they excited or what? Oh, no, they're not excited, actually. As a matter of fact. Teammate. Or, kind of. This is a popular win for him. Yep. There it goes. Oh, the official's checking out his lug nuts. <laughs> That's funny. We have uh, Reed Soros and his car went up in flames on pit road after the race. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Ryan Blaney hops out of the Motorcraft Ford for the first time in Monster Energy Cup Series. Congratulations. Man, all of America's watching. They want to know this is your first cup win. You had to pass one of the best, Kyle Busch, and hold off Kevin Hart. Oh, my gosh. What was going through your mind? You're in victory lane, man. That's hard, man. To oh, my gosh. Kozlowski's... Well, first, we had a pass tire. <laughs> and now it's tough. He was on older tires. And, uh, he's I love that Brad Kozlowski just did that interview. That was awesome. Look, Glenn Wood, Tiny Lund, Kyle Patty, Dale Jarrett, Elliot Sadler, Trevor Bain, Ryan. Okay. Hey, you want to say good night? Let's say good night. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the vlog right here. Ryan Blaney won today. It was a good race. I enjoyed it. Um, Kyle was hoping that Kyle Bush would win, but he didn't because Ryan Blaney passed him. He ended up finishing ninth. Ridiculous, but stay strong guys. Have a fantastic day today, and I will see you later